Welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Remake. Bruh, is it cold outside today? It's like around um, 10 degrees right now, and ugh, feels like winter is officially here. Even though technically it's only autumn. Ugh, but thankfully, the heater's working, so I have it on and I'm safely home feeling comfortable. Plus, Nothing can really dampen my spirits because I am still reeling from the concert on Thursday. Yeah, the concert, it was such a dream. And you know, these classical music uh, concerts are always um, in the evening. You know, it usually starts at around 7 or 8 p.m. And in this case, it started um, at 8. So when it finished, it was pretty late. It was already around 10. And this concert was in Dusseldorf. So um, I had to take the train back to Cologne. Uh, and that takes uh, almost an hour. Uh, so when I got home, it was really late. But I was so excited. I, I was overhyped. I couldn't sleep at all after I got home. Yeah, that's how great the concert was. But, um, let's talk about the concert when I have time later. Right now, I have to focus on my own story. Yeah, the cliffhanger from last time. Okay, so, um, yeah, I called Air France, and um, then I asked the customer service uh, when they have another uh, plane flying to Europe, essentially. And um, because at that point, I think all of their flights were like canceled from Taiwan. And she was like, I heard there's a possibility that we have a plane on, on the 10th of April or something. And that was just too close for comfort. Plus, she wasn't 100% sure that that flight was really going to fly, you know. <laughs> they could still cancel it last minute, so... I thought that wasn't safe, and so I, I asked if it was possible that they could put me on a China Airlines plane. And I said that I knew the day um, after there was a plane from China Airlines that's um, going to Europe. Uh, oh, flying straight to Germany. And she was like, uh, okay, I see that we can put you on a plane. Um, tonight. Why is this guy still not dead? I think I've headshot him like two times already. And I'm almost out of bullets. Damn, he's still- Oh, and finally I get him. Only because I blow his brains totally off. What the hell? What a tough son of a bitch. Oh, so this is the guy we got the brace from. Hmm, wow, what a mess I made here. Oh, and another pouch. I guess this is the last one. Ah, uh, there's one. Oh, but I'm out of bullets. All the other ones are too important. I don't want to waste them on here. On this. Oh, too bad. Doesn't work like it does in Biohazard 5 and 6, right? Can't use the knife <laughs> to destroy things. Is there anything in the locker? Can't open it. Okay. Anything else here? That's it? Hmm. Pretty sad. Oh, but this area is still red. Maybe I can find something useful here. Oh, whatever. Um, back to the... Um, ticket story. Yes. So, um, she basically told me that she could put me on a plane that night. Well, it wasn't really that night. It was more like um, the next day, but it was, you know, at midnight. So it will feel like that night. And I'm like, but um, I saw that the flight from China Airlines is tomorrow. So uh, as in uh, the evening, tomorrow evening. And she was like, I don't know, but this is the flight that they can put me on. And I was like, um, could I check which flight it is and get back to you? And she's like, um, okay. 
Oh, Sherry is still okay like that. Hmm. I didn't see this email earlier, but now I do. Anything else in here doesn't look like it. And um, she's like, but I, I can't wait for you to look the flight up. So you, you might have to hang up and call later. But I'm like, no, I can't hang up. You don't understand. I waited for more than an hour to um, get through. So, so I can't hang up now. <laughs> And she's like, okay. And then I suddenly realized that um, they're putting me on a plane. That the plane she was uh, referring to was a plane from Taiwan to um, Amsterdam and not straight to Germany. Because those are the flights that they uh, cooperate with China Airlines. Like if it's flights flying from Taiwan to Paris or Amsterdam, then they cooperate with... Um, China Airlines, but they, they don't cooperate with them on flights um, to other European destinations. And then I finally realized that and I said, oh, okay, I get it. So, so then put me on this flight, yeah, and, and just get me back to Germany. And they were like, okay, so we'll f um, fly you with um, China Airlines to Amsterdam. Yeah, I missed this guy earlier, so <laughs> now's a good time to get it. Wait, am I having the wrong gun? Oh, whatever. Anyway, um, and so yeah, she put me on that fly. Oh, that fly was going to take me to Amsterdam, and then they they have their own little. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize I was using the wrong bullet, so... <laughs> Still ended up wasting one of the more valuable bullets anyway, stupid. Uh, anyway... Um, and yeah, they, they still had um, a lot of European inland flights, so... They would fly me from Amsterdam to uh, Frankfurt using their little planes and I was like good so this takes care of things and I didn't have to buy uh, a new ticket and so after I hung up I gave my parents the good news but the thing was <laughs> that meant I had to finish um, packing prompto because I had to yeah, leave that very night and it felt very much like when I first got to Germany because if you guys remember um, the story that I told, I got my um, notification um, a week before the semester started. And in the notification, they told me like, you have to report here in three days or you'll lose your spot. Okay. <laughs> it's weird. I. I don't think any of these tough guys got up right throughout. They're all just dead through. Anything else? Oh, grenade, nice. And um, is the G monster lurking here? It's so quiet. It feels very weird. Yet it's so empty, huh? Okay, yeah, whatever. And, uh, yeah, felt similar that I had to get ready so quickly <laughs> to go back to Germany. Uh, so, um, I went out to the supermarket to buy some things, you know, supplies that I have to bring <laughs> to Germany. Because at that point, I already knew that um, I was going to be stuck in Germany for a while because once I um, go back there at that time I thought I wasn't going to go back to Taiwan anytime soon until I I was sure that it was safe to do so because it's um, pretty safe in Taiwan but it's not safe in Europe and I don't want to you know take the virus back like all the, those other ooh, wait. oh oh this. 
He looks this is my life way too work. young. I'm not handing over anything. We yeah, he looks like a boy. I'll ask you one more time. <laughs> Oops. Well, it's not quite as interesting as the old movie. What the fuck were you thinking? Our orders were to bring him in alive. Which guy is Hunk? He looks We're in, dead. We had a snafu. Snafu. <laughs> What's that? Okay, will you stop focusing on the dead body? Roger that. Just the samples then. Let's move. Yikes, it's got bla uh, blood spattered on it. <laughs> spattered all over it. Oh, that's it? It doesn't even show us how they got wiped out, like in the old version. Hmm, weird. So, anyway, we had to- yeah, go to- oh, I already mentioned that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so what else? E yeah, that was pretty much it. And then we got to the, um, airport, um, uh, at- 11 or 10 in the evening. I think it was 11 because my flight was um it was originally at 12:05 you know a.m. but then there there was a delay so um but I didn't know this until I got to the airport. It said that uh my flight was going to take off at 130 or 150, but it didn't matter as long as we were there earlier than later. It's fine Yeah, so um, But the thing is when we first got there it was so weird was the airport was totally deserted like no one and um, Some of the areas had the light Turned off as well and just felt really really spooky I'd never seen the airport so empty before. But yeah, it was understandable because <laughs> at that point, that was the worst of things, you know. Uh, the end of March, so no one was really traveling. And um, so I was sitting there and um, trying to find the check-in desk for my flight, but I couldn't really find anything. And I'm like, huh? What's going on here? And then, um, after about 20 minutes or so, when, you know, the usual check-in time was- Ooh, what's that? Oh my god! Are those body parts? Ew, why would they keep these things? But you know what, the, the middle one is kind of funny. It kind of reminds me of, um, the arm in Terminator, you know? They were keeping the um, arm of the Terminator from the first movie. That's how they um, reverse engineered everything. Right, in the second movie. Hmm. So empty in here. Oh, what's that? Oh, is that it? Damn it. Oh. oh! Look at that. Alright. So that's what that's for. Nice. Hell yeah. That's Got a bit it. too easy though. Because in the old version, we had to like mix things. Thank God. The to make relieved. it ourselves. Gotta get back to Sherry. Is the G monster going to jump out now and attack me? Okay, perhaps not yet. Ah, oh, this place looks so nice. Very clean. Wow, so many of these white powders. I actually have too many white powders. But I am getting a feeling that 
There's going to be a boss fight very soon, so I think I'd better save here. But yeah, not not before I kind of clear my items first. Okay, and while I'm doing this, uh, let, let me continue with the story. That is, um, oh yeah, I, I was getting kind of nervous because I wasn't seeing any uh, attendance there. And then, um, I forgot, oh yeah, I think there was a security guard there walking around or something. And um, I asked him like, um, so where are the, um, flight attendants or employees for China Airlines and he was like all the flights are gone for the day <laughs> there's nothing that day anymore and I'm like what did they cancel my flight or something and I was really like panicking but then I, I realized that um, China Airlines actually have two desks in um, both terminals and in terminal one that was where all the flights um, that flew to Asian destinations like China or Japan and... Oh! I knew it! Uh... Your ass again! <laughs> William! What are you doing here? This ends now. Is that a hint? that the acid rounds work best on him. Okay. Oh, come on. Can't be that easy. What the hell is this thing? That was my husband. <laughs> Oops. She is my creation! Damn. He really feels like a little boy. Yeah, he's just throwing a temper tantrum. William! I should have killed him while I had the chance. Nah, it doesn't matter. He would have just stood up anyway. I couldn't do it. He was your husband. Honestly, we were more married to our work than each other. <laughs> Oops. But what about Sherry? How could you just leave her all alone while Rackham City burned to hell? Yeah, that's true. I couldn't let my daughter grow up in a world with a G virus in it. But that's no excuse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if she had died, then none of that would have mattered. She's tough. Oh, the thing just keeps on growing. Sorry. Yep, still not dead. No. I got this. Mm-hmm. You should take care of Sherry. Yeah, I always have to do all the dirty work. You don't know what you're up against. I have a pretty damn good idea. Whatever you do, don't stop until it's finished. Yeah, it's Trust not like me. I have a choice. This now. Oh no, wrong gun. <laughs> I thought that I already had the um, acid round round gun ready. Oh, and I'm just panicking now. <laughs> And he's right behind me. Oh, yep. I anticipated that. That was my own fault. Yeah. Well, I might as well tell the truth. <laughs> This is not the, the the boss fight part. This is not um, um, the first time that I uh, fought him. 
I only successfully um, killed him after, I don't know, six or seven tries. Yeah, it was pretty tough. But then I learned that, um, firstly, the best weapon to use against him is the acid round. Feels like it's the most effective. And plus, you shouldn't um, panic as I seem to do. <laughs> like, you can wait until he gets close because as soon as um, you fire the acid round on him, he'll kneel down and stop. So you're in no danger of being attacked by him. But somehow, <laughs> I just keep on panicking and run around. That was close. <laughs> I could have caught him. Yeah, and, and if you can aim better than me, then get the eye, and I think that will kill him faster. That part I think is pretty obvious. But... Here, I really don't know if I'm wasting my bullets because I don't know if my attacks were registering. I mean, registering at this point. And yeah, you have to wait until he gets up. I don't know. Because once I killed him, I did not want to um, retry other stuff, other tactics. Okay. As for dodging, I really don't have any good advice for that because um, I did go online and watch how other people deal with him and some of them seem to be able to dodge pretty well but I'm not one of them but I think the best advice I can give is that when you're running it's always better to run oh crap <laughs> should have <laughs> paid attention to what he was doing yeah don't turn your back to your enemy that's obvious yeah, so he always run toward his left because um, most of the time he swings his arm from uh, your right, your right side though. Yeah, and try to find cover when he throws these things around or else they hurt you really bad. Oh, and I, I also recommend throwing the grenade at him very much because see how effective it, it is two grenades and he's dead yeah it's just too bad that before he died he got one last slash at me so i have to use up another health item target has been neutralized well let's pick up all the things before leaving Oh, yeah, and like I was saying, I realized that um, China Airlines had two desks in both um, terminals in the airport. So I realized we were in the wrong terminal, so <laughs> we got on the car and uh, drove to the second terminal. And um, there were some more signs of life in that terminal because, yeah, people were boarding that flight I was going to be on so hmm why is it still red I think I've taken everything yeah anyway um and so the flight attendants uh checked me in and they were asking if I was sure that I would be able to successfully enter uh EU the yeah and it's very weird because their colleagues told me if you remember from last time that they would check with the personnel um, in the destination country to make sure that um, people have the right documents but they didn't do that they only asked me if um, I was sure I, I had um, the required documents and I was like um, I, I have a student's visa 
and they thought that was good enough, so <laughs> they just let me board the plane. Yeah. And um, again, when I was going through the, the tunnel, everything was very empty. Oh, but <laughs> of course it, it would be empty in my I case because shoot. it was already the middle of the night. Yeah, all the shops would have been closed anyway, even in normal times. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, one very important thing. I actually felt um, kind of unwell that week. Like early in the week, um, I, I had, you know, a minor sore throat and I kept on feeling that I was burning up. But somehow when, when my uh, mother measured me, measured my temperature, I was okay. I was always around like 30... Oh, wait, 37. Mm, I think th not really 37, 36.8 or something. But that kind of alarmed me because I think my temperature is naturally low. Like a week before, we were on vacation to another place. And every day we um, enter, re entered the hotel, the hotel personnel would measure our temperatures. And my temperature was always around 35.6 or something, like lower than 36. So when I started getting temperatures that was up to 36, um, I felt like there was a possibility I could have gotten the virus or something. But um, I had to get on that flight. So, um, but don't worry, I actually, oh. Oh, good. Kiri looks back to normal. Good as new. I, I knew you'd make it. Yeah. My mom needs help. Oh. Annette? Oh, wow, she looks terrible. Sh Sherry. Or how are you? Okay. But you don't look so good. Yeah. Yeah. She probably has internal bleeding. Look at the screen. What? What's on the screen? Oh, thank God. So Sherry's gonna be all right. She'll be weak for a little while, but yes. I'm already crying. She's free of the G virus. I like this Did new version. That? Yeah. She gets to say uh, goodbye to her mom. Uh, uh, I like the old one. And she redeemed herself in the end, too. What happened to her? Uh, domestic abuse. Don't <laughs> worry about me. Yeah, all that blood. Take my daughter to safety. I'm sorry, Sherry. For everything. No. Your life is what is important. Does the cell stop? Can you just leave her here? You're right, we can't. Attention, unauthorized removal. Oh no, we have to move. What does that mean? It's a self-destruct code. <laughs> In case the G-Virus leaves the building. <laughs> Save my daughter. I will. No! Oh, well, at least we don't have to Sherry. leave her while she's still alive. Sherry, it would have been terrible. Mom. Please, take my... Please, Sherry. Listen. She loved you, okay? Mm. You really gotta get going. Come on. Aw, she's so cute. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just right us now. I'm so lucky to have you. <laughs> Glad you think that way. We can talk more about that later. We gotta hurry now. Come on. Sherry. Shouldn't have interrupted that. <laughs> you walk faster? Yeah. I don't want to rush you, but we have to go. Uh, I think... <laughs> it's the... Uh oh, this is the right way. <laughs> I don't feel better if she walks ahead of me, but she's just... Following me. <laughs> she still runs pretty slowly. I have to keep an eye on her. Oh yeah, like I said. But um, don't worry because when I um, board the plane, they measured me again and I was still not having a fever. Plus, I covered myself up pretty well. I had eye goggles <laughs> and um, also had, of course, masks on and uh, I also have gloves on. So even if I had it, I think the possibility of me transmitting it to anyone was very low. Um, wow, is this the nuclear yeah. core? Thank you for being so nice to me. Aw, oh, you don't have to thank me. I'm really glad I met you. <laughs> She's so I'm really polite. Glad I met you too, Sherry. Yeah. But save your thanks until I get you out of this place. <laughs> True. Attention. We're not out of it yet. Who, who knows what's still going to happen? Yikes, it's creepy music. And auto saving. That can't be good. So I guess I'll have to fight the G monster yet again, huh? Still red. What am I missing? Nothing. Oh, here it is. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, while I was, uh, on the plane. Yeah, but before I sat in my seat, I did disinfected my surroundings myself. Yeah, to make sure it was virus-free. Even though I believe they, they cleaned the plan, plane thoroughly before we boarded it, but I wasn't taking any chances. Yeah, and, um, the whole flight, I didn't leave my seat I didn't do anything like I didn't go to the bathroom or even eat my meals because I didn't feel safe to take my mask off yeah and um, to avoid contact with, with the surface of the airplane I didn't um, lean on it to, when I'm sleeping so that that was the most uncomfortable flight of my life for sure <laughs> I, I couldn't really sleep you know sitting upright and I couldn't eat anything drink anything uh, just waiting <laughs> for the flight to be over but um, I don't know if things have changed now but uh, when I boarded the flight then things were bad so they changed the way they serve um, the meals like everything they gave us were packed and in a box so it was mostly cold stuff no more warm meals oh oops <laughs> oh, yeah thank god for the <laughs> escape item But I guess it was a good thing because I wasn't going to eat the meals on the plane anyway, so I could just uh, 
take it to go. <laughs> yeah. And uh, after we finally arrived in um, Amsterdam, uh, I was, why isn't Sherry? Oh, she's so slow. <laughs> What? Of course. Stupid things locked. Hmm. Hold on. Sherry, what are you? I think I can open it from the other side. Oh, okay. You do your thing. God damn it, your time sucks. Yep. Um. So while I was in Amsterdam, uh, yeah, that's when I noticed for real how. Empty the whole airport was Like uh, I think all of the shops were closed none of them were open and you know various areas were uh, sealed off and um, There were like these yellow tapes Like keeping you from going into certain areas <laughs> ah, That's cute. Yeah, we do Oh good, please run ahead of me. Or else I can't tell if she's following me. Sherry, you hanging in there? I'm right behind you! Had a girl! I think we're almost out of here! Yeah. Oh yeah, and, and when when I looked at the flight schedule, it was like red. Maybe All the way down. through. Worth a try. Like every plane, every flight, no, not every flight, but almost every flight, like 90% of the flights were canceled. Yeah, so across the board, it was like cancel, 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 cancel. <laughs> and, um. What are you doing? Mm. I gotta get this train moving. Yeah. I need you to stay right here, okay? Okay. I promise I won't move. Good. Good girl. Be careful. Always. <laughs> yeah, so I was anxiously waiting for my connect flight. Um, and I think I had to wait for like two hours or so. Is this the last of it? Working. Clear. What? Oh, you're still alive, <laughs> of course. Honest? You're down here too? Yeah, but the whole place is coming down. Look, you need to get out fast. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry about no, me. I I'm found fine. a way out. I feel like I think, the whole time. I think we can all make it. We've forgotten about him. Where are you now? Clear. And like, didn't I'm really care if. Leon, I'm sorry, you're breaking up. He was okay. Don't worry about me. Just get out of here. Okay. Leon. Leon. You can't r really worry Damn. about you anyway. I have to take care of Sherry. Yeah. Oh, and I remembered. I forgot that um, there's one thing I actually discovered um, while I was... Um, playing it beforehand in my downtime. That is, there's actually this secret file. Yeah, this <laughs> letter from best friend. So I suppose this is the person that um, Claire was calling um, in the beginning of the game. Who's this mysterious best friend all of a sudden that we never knew about? Uh, Capcom just keeps on pumping us with these Mysteries and never offering answers. Oh, I knew it. And once again, I fought this monster multiple times before finally succeeding. And I really don't have a good strategy for killing him. Because when she, he starts slashing at you, see? Even when you're running away, he catches up to you very quickly, so... I think the best way to shield yourself is 
Yeah, stand in the corner um, of th this. What do you call it? Train? Oops. <laughs> That's the safest place. Yeah, using the train as your shield, but then you have little time to attack him because he gets around the corner very soon, so... Yeah. Probably <laughs> ask better players for him. Now, my strategy was uh, to avoid the attacks as much as I can and then worry about attacking him later. <laughs> I didn't see he was <laughs> But I guess running in circles is also a good way. That's how I avoided him here. Ever then. Yeah, so I dodged him two times here, I think. And another time. But I don't seem to have a chance to attack him. So that's the downside of it. Well, anyway, from here on, it's just me running around and trying to uh, shoot him as much as I can, so I might as well get back to my own story. Yeah, and after it was finally time to board the plane, I was so glad, and I, that, um, at that time, it was um, still fairly early in the afternoon, and um, the past few times, I've always arrived home late because... <laughs> Of course, I always buy the cheapest tickets, and uh, those tickets are always with arrival times uh, in the evening. So when I get back home, it's usually already midnight. And I was glad that uh, I'm finally able to avoid it um, this time. But what I didn't know was um, when I got in line and um, they, they usually have um, the scanning machine where you have to scan your ticket. Damn, see? So hard to dodge. <laughs> or should I say get away from his attacks? Yeah, anyway, they, they scan your ticket again be right before you board the plane, right? And for the first time in my life, I scan my ticket and um, I think the machine made a beeping sound or something like... Um, uh, it didn't uh, accept my ticket and uh, the flight attendant told me to scan it again I did and the same thing happened and so they were like there's something wrong with your ticket so I couldn't board the tr plane I was like what are you kidding me I got all the way from I want <laughs> and I'm that close from getting back home and you're telling me there's something wrong with my ticket and, um, I don't know what the uh, reason they gave me was. I don't know, like, uh, they had something wrong in their system or something. And, um, the employees there on site tried to take care of the problem. Uh, right away from for me, but it just wasn't working. And then after like five minutes or I don't know, ten? Because the whole time they were on the computer and it was uh, not doing anything. And then they, they called, I, I don't know, their colleagues from uh, somewhere else and oh, and that's how you feel. And why is it still coming for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you move so slowly when you're carrying this big gun. So even though I was backing away as I was shooting him, he still got to me. So I guess I have to take shelter first before placing the kill shot, and that finally does it. Oh. Weird how it's just blowing itself up.
I think that was it, right? No more boss fights. Clear. It's okay. I'm here. Yeah, it's finally We're over. Monster again, is it? I am so dirty, or should I say Claire is so dirty? First thing you want to do when we get out of here? Eat ice cream? I want to see where you live. <laughs> wow. <laughs> really weird. Bye. Take a shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Not bad. Oh, yeah. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. Claire. Oh. Leon. It was Leon. It's so what? good to see you. Uh, I told you would make it, didn't I? That's ominous. I What's with the black screen? <laughs> Oh yeah, because I think uh, there's you have to play the Leon's uh, part too, you know, to get the real ending. Yeah, that was from the old. The that's just like the old version, but somehow I totally forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I usually just let you guys, you know, listen to the music, enjoy the music and stop talking, but I feel like this music isn't all that special. So I use this time to just <laughs> continue my story because I wasn't quite finished. Yeah, uh, and so um, after five minutes on it and then calling their colleagues, they were like, no, we, we can't um, delay the plane any longer. The, the pilot says they have to take off. And so I was left there. The plane took off without me. At that point, I was like, what the hell did I do wrong in my last life that I have to suffer all these tragedies? Why is this happening to me? But yeah, there was nothing I could do but to um, follow their orders. They, they were like, we can't take, of the, take care of this here. You have to go to um, our... I don't know, it's like their senior employee um, at their employee's desk. Yeah, that, that was like 10 minutes away. I had to go all the way back because where I was at at that point was at the gate, you know, right before you um, go onto the airplane. And I had to leave the gate area and um, go back to the, I don't know what you call it, the common area, you know, where all the shops were and everything. Yeah, so I went there and oh, it's so funny because everything is like taped off and, and they had this big plastic sheet um, covering their desk and uh, yeah, to avoid contact with uh, customers. And uh, after waiting in line for only a short while, um, it was my turn and she looked into my um, information and uh, told me that the problem was that they weren't sure that um, I had the right visa. Yeah. Uh, and the employee at the desk asked to look at my visa and that solved the problem. And she was like, um, they could have taken care of that at the desk if only they had called her I don't know what happens there but yeah that was no consolation for me and she was like uh, but we have no flights to Germany anymore that day 
And I was like, what? I knew it. And and I didn't say anything though, because I, I know it's not really her fault. It was the other employee's fault. So I didn't want to give her even more pressure. So um, I didn't even um, ask her what I'm supposed to do at that point. I'm just waiting for answer from her. And um, at one point, I, I even thought of telling her that she could just put me on a train back to Germany. That would work too, because, you know, y Europe is, you know, uh, a place where every country is kind of connected on the con continent. Uh, so... And um, Amsterdam is pretty close to Cologne as well, so a train would have been fine. Uh, but before I had a chance to say that, she told me that she could put me on a flight uh, operated by German wings and that would get me back to Germany that day um, and I was glad that was taken care of yeah because that means I could still go back that day I didn't have to wait overnight at the airport again I have um, experienced something similar before but um, through fault of my own but this time it wasn't really my fault it was their fault but I'm just glad I dodged a bullet there. Um, the only downside was um, the flight was in the evening, like at 7. And like I mentioned before, at that time it was um, early in the afternoon. I think it was like 2 or 3 in the afternoon. So I had to wait another 4 hours for my plane. And uh, the whole time I had to wander around this <laughs> empty, creepy airport. No, the good thing was um, it was sunny that day, so um, it was very bright um, in the airport. So even though it was, um, can you call it desolated? <laughs> it didn't feel that bad. But it's really weird, like the whole time, because there are close to no people, only like a handful three or four people. Um, the loudest sound or uh, noise you hear is the escalator, like moving, rolling. Yeah. Um, but thankfully, after um, seven o'clock came, uh, I was finally able to board the uh, plane. But in case you were wondering if they were serious about the um, visa rules, they were. Because usually um, for these um, inter-European flights... Oh, I forgot to mention when, when I was um, entering Amsterdam, um, the customs there checked my visa. And I saw other people in front of me using the same kind of visa. that the, These visa cards that are usually for non permanent residents um, in EU countries and I was like oh so I overthought you know everyone's using this so there wasn't going to be a problem and uh, of course the guy at customs um, Dutch the Dutch custom employee checked my visa and then said oh is it over now almost I think oh, I what? I knew it! Okay, but <laughs> I'll have to wait until next time. Ah, oh, too bad I still couldn't quite finish my story. But I think you got the most important parts. And if you really want to know further details about my story, then tune in again next time. And, uh, but next time it will be Leon. Hopefully, um, everything will go even smoother. Until then, bye!